Welcome to Awake to Oneness Radio. I am Caroline Chang, your host. The mission of Awake to Oneness Radio is to inspire the world to awaken to the universal truth of oneness. Science is now teaching us that all life is interconnected. And ancient wisdom and spirituality has been teaching us this for eons, that we are all connected, that we are all one. So what you do to another person, you're literally doing to another aspect of yourself. And when mankind awakens to the universal truth of oneness, there will be peace on earth. Today's show topic is expanding the field of consciousness with Jack O'Keefe. Welcome, Jack, to Awake to Oneness Radio. Now, I... Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to have you here. Um, I discovered you through a film, um, and you are my fourth guest, actually, from that film. The, the title of the film is Awake in the Dream, and I had, last week, I had the filmmaker, which was Katerina Rollins, on as a guest, and uh, I'm so happy to have Jack today. We are pre-recording the show, um, but this show will air on St. Patrick's Day, and Jack is a native from Ireland, and I just love her accent. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so honored to have you, and I'm so glad that this is going to be airing on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's a happy coincidence. <laughs> yes, it is, and we know there are no coincidences. <laughs> Indeed. So, Jack, I know a little bit about your work. Like I said, I discovered you in the film, and I, I just, I recommend that film to everybody. But please share with our listeners a little bit about your path, your journey, your spiritual um, awakening, how you came to where you are right now. Um, thank you, Caroline, for the opportunity, because it, as we said just before, actually, before we began recording, People hear the, the journey, the story differently. And while my mind would imagine that, oh, at 30, a big awakening happened and X, Y, Z was the experience. Really, you can trace things back to the very beginning. And I think everybody can because as children, we know that life is simple. Yes. We know that adults are a little bit nuts. <laughs> and they worry about things and they talk about garbage and why are they making everything complex it's just simple yes and then life we get sucked into that way of living because we emulate our our guardians parents teachers yes, yes. and so we end up becoming that kind of uh, constant stream of bs you know we end up <laughs> we end up turning our minds into that same load of unfiltered garbage. And then we learn the social skills so that, oh, I can't say that, but I'm thinking that, but I'll say this. <laughs> and so we begin this falsity. And this is what develops the distance between the personality, who we think we are, and the truth. Yes. The simple interconnectivity of everything that exists. And there is a deeper than that also. Mm -hmm. There is a stillness that's even deeper than that, yes. you know, where yes. separation isn't seen at all. Yes. So, so I suppose our journey is usually talking about where's the turning point when you knew that this isn't working for me. Okay. There was the turning point. But it's kind of interesting that, well, why do we leave the simplicity in the first place? Why do we leave what we know as children? And why do we imagine that our own children don't know anything when actually they've no wisdom to put what they know into the world yet? Yes. And the way we're doing it seems to be quite backward. And I don't know what the solution is, but I know there's something unhealthy about the way we educate our children. Um, we teach them about separation. We teach them how to be nice to somebody even though your own authentic feelings might be something else and we don't show them how to how to touch into and express their own inner feelings wow. so this is the interesting thing is like what makes us leave the truth that we know that we can't vo vocabularize as children but we know it 
And then a turning point happens and we start coming home back to spirit again to reconnect and to discover that, oh, oh, it, it really is simple. It really is. I love that. It's just what's in front of me now. Everything else is in my head. Everything else is being imagined by me. It's, yeah. just, it's just this. It's just this. It just That's all there is. Yes. So you true. have to go into your brain to find the past. You have to go into your brain to find the future, into your imaginings. Memory bank, which is your imagination anyway. Put mm -hmm. two people in front of something. Give them the same experience and they'll remember it a bit differently. What is that? You know? It's so all perception. It's all perception, which is very erroneous. Very erroneous. So we have the past, we have the future. Don't trust it. That's not your benchmark for who you are. Mm -hmm. There's only right now. There's only right now. That is so, so true. <laughs> so true. I, I'm resonating with everything you're saying so much in so many ways. Um, like you said about what you said about um, people like to think of, well, when was the turning point? But when I do think back, it goes, it, it's been on my whole life. Yes. It's been, I've been gradually turned. I, like you said, as a child, I was brought up in the early 60s, 60s and, and 70s. And I was told a child is not to a child is to be seen and not heard. Yes. And so I uh, and I, I was sent to Catholic school, even though we weren't Catholic, but I would go to mass and we had religion every day in, in school. And I at four or five years old, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. And yeah. I couldn't say that because yeah. <laughs> especially at home, you know, yeah. I couldn't I could not question an adult figure yeah. um in the early 60s and so i just but i didn't stop thinking it like no yeah. what you're teaching me doesn't compute yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. resonate and it never did so yeah. so it's so true like what you said about um the the as children children know we come here yes. knowing and, yes. and, and we emulate our parents and our teachers and authority figures. And, and then gradually we forget yes. what we were, we, you know, we what forget. we came here with. Because when we forget. came here, we couldn't express it. We couldn't say as newborn babies, we couldn't say, Hey, it's simple. And yes. I say that all the time. The truth is so simple. And yes. oneness is so simple. Yes. And, and, and when you understand truth, it's all there is, is this now moment. Yes. And this now moment is perfect. Yes. <laughs> like I was just sharing with you just before we started recording, there's three feet of snow <laughs> outside yes. my window yes. and I can't, I'm trapped inside my house <laughs> because yes. I can't open my, my screen door yes. to get out. Yes. But it's still, I'm in, a, I'm in my house, even if I'm trapped in a house for a, a week, I have yes. enough, I have food, I have water, I haven't lost power, thank you, yes. you know, I still have power, so, and even if I lost power, I have a gas propane uh, fireplace, so I can still yes. keep, keep warm, yes. um, there's so many things to focus on that I am thankful for in this now moment, even though I'm trapped inside my house yes. with, with three feet of snow outside and it's still snowing. Yes. It's all good. <laughs> yes. So, so your mind can see, you know, how we can complain about something or how we can be grateful and, and for something. But let's say you had power. You ran out of food in your refrigerator. There was just nothing in your freezer. You did a big spring, spring cleaning and all the cans and tinned food was gone. Mm-hmm. If your circumstances were that, you know, physically right. you didn't have enough to support your body, yeah. would you be able to find that perfection in the present moment as well? I, you know what? I can. You know why I can say I can? I can because, like you said, in every, when I awoken, and for me, my, my big awakening was in 2007. And mm -hmm. when I awoken, I knew in every now moment, um, I had everything I needed to survive. Yes. Uh, so I know, and, and there, there'd be 
a can somewhere, you know, there would be a can of soup somewhere, there would be, like I said, I have two um, sources of heat, so if I lost power, because most of the house is electric, but a few, about three years ago, I inserted a gas fireplace, so my, my gas is, is um, propane, so that's a second source of warmth, of heat, and also, you could cook on it, too, if you really wanted to but I wouldn't try it <laughs> but uh but I have I can and I have a wood stove hey I forgot about that I just don't like using the wood stove because it's a lot of work yeah but so I have so even if I didn't have the gas or electricity I have wood stove I have wood stove Let's and take I, away the wood stove. Okay, take, take away the wood stove. <laughs> you take it away. You take it away. For. Like, <laughs> can, so can somebody who's homeless yes. find the peace and perfection in the now? I hear what you're saying. And, and I have to honestly say I have been homeless, but in a car yes. um, for two months with, yes. with a baby. I can honestly uh, say that. I, all right, I, now I, I experienced that. Now we're I, talking. Mm -hmm. Could you find perfection in that? Now I can. At that time, I did. At that time, yeah. I didn't. I no. wasn't awake. But yeah. but but I but we we met. We survived. We survived. Yes. I, it was yes. my husband and my two year old, yes. and we lived in a car for two yes. months yes. in in the mid eighties. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, Death, yes. yes. Life, life does these quirky things, you know. Yes. Yes. And and strips away everything. Yes. But somehow the perception of of being totally, totally present to what is, and not to fear, and not to imaginings, and not to what is, being totally, totally present. Embedded in that is the knowing that it's perfect. Yes. It's not that the outside things have to be perfect. It's not about that. It's not dependent on your sources of heat or having your husband or the car to, 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 to help you with your small baby. Do you know? So it, it's not dependent on the external. And that's the shift, isn't it? That's yes. the shift. Yes. Is that the perfection is a stillness that's inside, regardless of what the outside throws at you. Yes. Yes. So you true. Know? That's so true. It, it, exactly what you're saying. Because that's everything mm. that's real, peace, love, um, sur that, sur that joy, everything that's real comes from within. It's not outside. Yes. We, we, we tend to look f for these things out. We tend to look for love outside of ourselves. Peace, joy, happiness, all of that. We yes. look for it and it's not outside at all. It's, yes. it, it's not dependent on your circumstances. It's not dependent on if you're in a mansion with servants, you know, at your beck and call because, I, and I know that just from the little bit of television I watch, which I don't watch much television now at all, but I mean, you know, just from these celebrities that are, are not, happy that yes. they have everything they have fame they have fortune many of them are very unhappy so yes. it's not that physical right. um surroundings that That's bring right. you happiness no the external the, doesn't the, the and, ex but why yes. do we believe that it does what <laughs> is it in our psyche that imagines if i have this if i have that then then i'll have made it then i can relax and retire relax and retire happily and everything will be fine why do we believe that's garbage? Because we know it's garbage, but yes. yet we set up these goals. Yes. We still fall into it. Oh, yes. it would be fine if I had a partner or a better partner or a more loving partner. And it's like, stop it. Oh, <laughs> yes. stop. Because the goalpost keeps moving, huh? Exactly. It doesn't it, Caroline? It just exactly. keeps moving. It's like there's never enough. It's constantly because the search is actually, it stops when you go in. That's when the search stops. But as yes. long as you think it's on something outside, even if you think truth is something that you've got to get from the outside, it ain't there. It exactly. Ain't there. Exactly. Like I said about, I say about an enlightenment. For me, awakening and enlightenment are kind of the same, but enlightenment and awakening to truth happens in the now. 
doesn't happen in the future. Yeah. It yeah. didn't happen. It, ha it happens in each yeah. and every now moment. So if you're not um, enlightened in this now moment, you can't be chasing and searching for enlightenment. Yes. Yes. It's it, it only is right here, yeah. right now. That's all there is, is That's right here. That's all there is, actually. That's yeah. all there is. And if you go in deep enough, even that disappears also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even because, that disappears, you know? Mm-hmm. Because that too is created by consciousness, by awareness. Even yes. that is created by it. Yes. All of it disappears, you know, and, and with great uh, ease mm -hmm. and relief and release. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. So it's, when it stops, there is nobody missing something. There's no absence when it all disappears and you, you, your perception drops in totally. The disappearance of even the now, even that being gone, mm -hmm. it's not missed because there's nothing there to miss. That. So true. That's so good. I, I love, I love, I love, love when I connect with another person that is awake to truth that's why I, I i started this show for two reasons to communicate with others that are awake to the truth of the simplicity of oneness the simplicity of all there is is now yes. and and everything that is real and ultimate reality love which you are you are the essence of love we all love that's who we are so we don't have to search for it because we are it. So, yes. so it's yes. like, it's, it's when you wake up to who you really are, what this reality that you're creating, that we're all, we're all creating our own reality. And we were talking about perception. It's all perception. And the reason two people can be standing side by side, witnessing the exact same thing and seeing totally different yeah. perspections of yeah. what they saw is because yeah. actually we're each creating our own reality yes so we're yes. each in our own individual reality yeah so that's why yeah. our perceptions are so different yeah and it's you know a perfect example of it is the political arena presently in the states mm -hmm. you know you have the president who says something and you have people who cheer and say it's wonderful and you have, have others who are just sickened mm -hmm. and it's like gosh look at both responses two yes. entirely different responses to the one one right it, you know the, the one player in the game yes you know? exactly exactly it's, it's, there it is there it is it's like look at the diversity how subjective perception sees things entirely in a different way exactly so what is that 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 bundle of conditioning that makes us see what might or might not be there and what's mm -hmm. there anyway because right. if, if we can see things in two extreme ways well what is the truth of is there a third is there mm -hmm. the two sides of the story and the real truth then is there three things three things going on not two right you no know, right. these these are interesting ways to look at perception and how subjective perception is a liar really it's a liar exactly. True, true, true. And, and your question before about why do we a lot, I, I think it's programming by mass media. So that's mm. kind of why I've unplugged from mass media years ago. I mean, 2001, I unplugged from um, mainstream news. Don't watch well it. Don't well listen to it. I have yeah. no idea what the Donald, that's what I call him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. I truly yeah. don't. Because yeah. I don't watch, I haven't watched news since right after 9-11. Yeah. Spirit, yeah. that was a directive from Spirit. Yeah. Said, turn off the news and don't ever turn it back on. And at that time, I didn't know why. I just was yeah. obedient. And yeah. And then it wasn't too many years later, I realized why. It's like, okay, yes. I'm yes. glad I did that. I'm glad I was yes. obedient. Um, That's it. That's it. But it, yeah. it's a lot of it is, I would say, brainwashing yes. by mainstream media. Because yes. I, I love my neighbors dearly, but many of them are so brainwashed. I try to have a conversation about, well, let's talk about what's real real yes. and they won't go there with me yes. because they're so brainwashed but and i don't not i, I don't say that with a judgment yeah uh, it's yeah. just a perception and they are where they they are and they're perfect 
where they are. We yes. each perfect. Once you yes. know the the perfection of everyone, wherever they are, all you see, you look at them through the eyes of perfection. And I, yes. I believe that's how Jesus healed. He didn't see their illness. Right. He saw them as perfect and whole. And that's how I look at everyone, no matter where they are. You know, and I know I can't have this conversation with all of them, yeah. um, but I, I still just look at them with eyes of perfection and never judgment because I just be judging myself if I, yeah. if I judge another. Yeah. And so. another way to see it, I suppose, is that that's you having you in another form, having an experience of being brainwashed. Yes. Of being lost in a story that was, you know, that came in through the TV, you know? <laughs> so that, that's you having that experience. Yes, that's true. And then there's you in the Caroline form that's having the experience of watching that experience and mm -hmm. seeing the two experiences different. Yes, exactly. And all of it is you. Yes, exactly. None of, none of it is better. These are just experiences. Exactly. None of it is better. None of it is wiser. None, it's, just, it's just the different versions of how experience can happen. Mm -hmm. And they're all happening at the same time. Right, right. You know, and that's yes. the beauty. That's the beauty of being in a body is that, gosh, you can see all these different interpretations. And so our brain only right. puts, makes it different. Our brain makes, gives us the opportunity to experience things differently. Exactly. Because yes. what we really are isn't experiencing at all. It needs the body-mind mechanisms and our sense of subjective perception in order to make experiencing happen anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and it needs the idea of contrast to, right. to say, well, I'm experiencing this and, oh, you're experiencing something different. Oh, mm -hmm. but what we are actually is the very same thing. If you pull back from our stories and our exactly. false identities of being Caroline and the neighbor or Jack and the neighbor, right. you know, if we pull back, that's the same anyway. Right. right. So exactly. it's, it's a beautiful matrix. It's like layers on top of layers in order to make experiencing happen. It's so true. And really experiencing is kind of nothing. It's just subjective perception in mm -hmm. that moment that's running a story about experience. Mm -hmm. But we need to have some level of separation in order to have experience happen in the first place. Exactly. And that's why we chose this. We chose to have this. We're, we're creating the experience. I call it we're the movie. We're creating the experience. Yeah, we're yes. creating the experience. And, and we yeah. want, so we chose to have this experience. So many people feel like that life is being done to them yeah. when they are creating their life. You yeah. know, and they're doing it willingly from a higher perspective. You yeah. know, they're, 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 right. Right. they're just looking at it from a human perspective, but from their higher self, they're doing it all. Yes. 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 <laughs> we are all doing it. It's not, nothing, it. Yeah. nothing's being done to us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yes, that seems to be in a little bit of a, a paradox, a seeming paradox. Um, because do we really choose it? Okay. We're choosing from a higher place. I'm glad you said that because it's not a case of, choosing like we do in the world. I prefer it's, tea over coffee. It's not that kind of a choice at all. Exactly. It's more of a pull to go a certain way. But then when we have the idea of that we are co-creating and then the idea of surrender, mm -hmm. then the individual completely surrenders so that that which is moving all of it, right. that which made the, the choice without objectively choosing between two things, that which motivated that creation. Mm -hmm. When we surrender to that, then there's no sense of you creating it because your perception is in the stillness of where it came from. Right. You see? Mm -hmm. That deeper step is the one I'm interested in. Okay. You well, know, let's... just in terms yes. of my own work and what, yes, I, yes. what I do with people is like, pull back your perception so that you can see that there is no you trying to upgrade, mm -hmm. you know, what you think is going to be better. It's hell to be the one who's making the choices. It's hell. 
Right. Because if you can listen, and if you're still inside, and if you listen to where movement is coming from in the first place, mm-hmm. not from desire or your ideas, not from that, but the deeper place before your brain recognizes what's happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That movement that's moving everything, mm-hmm. surrender to that. Yes. And if that is the thing that leads your day, oh, it becomes so much easier. Yes. You yes. don't have to decide anything. That part of your brain can just retire. Yes. You know? and, and what we spoke about earlier, that perfection of what is always shows up, regardless yes. of what way it moves, because you're not yet gone into the part of your brain that says, good, bad, I like, I don't like, I want, I don't want. Right, right, right. Okay? That deeper right. surrender is beautiful. To, mm-hmm. We have to learn how to do that. We had it as kids, but we have to relearn it, you know? Yes, 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 yes. And it's also, um, preference isn't a bad thing, but also understanding that a preference is just that. It's a preference. It's not yeah. better or worse. Yeah. Like you, like you might, pre- someone might prefer coffee over tea. I prefer yeah. coffee over tea. Yeah. But yeah. it's not, and to say if I prefer coffee and you prefer tea, I one is not that. better than the That's other. Right. They're right. equal. They're just preferences. Yes. And so we can also look at everybody, look at knowing that the other person is just another aspect of ourselves and they have a different prefer- pre- yes. preference. Yes. And there's, their preference is not better. Or worse, their preference is not good or bad. We right. put it's these judgments right. that we label with. That yes. if, when we understand all is equal, yes. you know, all preferences are equal, then yes. we 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 don't have to put a put yes. a judgment on top of that. Yeah. Yes. And there's two layers to that judgment too, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like there's our judgment that the other person's judgment is the wrong one. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> like really. We do that? Yep, we do yeah, that. All the we time. We imagine that the other person is making an erroneous judgment. And, that, oh, our decision isn't a judgment at all. You know, right. it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's right, you know, it's right, right. Making the judgment. It's just ourselves. Yes, it's, yes. It's just ourselves, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's we just... project it. And, and we, so we miss our own judgment because we're projecting it on somebody else. Oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I was it's just... quirky. It's, yes. It keeps trying to recreate itself this thinking mind you know yes yes instead yes. of just rest and be with what is mm-hmm. right now there's enough there there's plenty yes. there. it's full it's rich exactly you in know? every now moment and in every now moment you do have like you were asking the question about being homeless and i and i have shared because i'm an open book <laughs> i shared i i've experienced that but it, it's true when you Know that in every now moment, know when I not not believe, but know in every now moment, you have everything you need. Spirit has given you God because you are an inseparable part of God. You can't be separated from God. And God has given you all you need. God is not set. When I say God, I'm not talking about so someone or something separate from myself. Um, You have all you need in every now moment, regardless of what the outside circumstances looks like. There is right there. And when you need help, all you have to do is call for it because you're surrounded by guides, guides, um, angels, you know, your loved ones who are on the other side. They're surrounding you at all times and they're always there to help you. So when you know that, you know, they're not gone. There's no separation. There is no death. All there is is eternal life. And those that have gone transcend, transcended this life, they're still with you. So when you know that and you can just reach out when you, you need a little lift and just remember that because um, it's, it's just all about knowing it. It's always there and you're always loved. You're always protected because you are love. You, that's the essence of who you are. Yeah. That is so true. So now, please, I want you, you had mentioned your work. Please share with our listeners um, your work. Um, I suppose there are three aspects. One is that I, I'm involved in writing a book right now. I've written one in five or six years ago called Born to be Free. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm currently writing, and I've, I've got a few 
cooking. So I think the next phase is, <clears throat> is publications. Okay. I'm cool. working on one right now. Yeah. Halfway through it. Um, the other thing that I do is I help people on their own journey. Okay. I, do it in a group, I do it in a group setting in various locations internationally. Mm -hmm. And so the next one, for example, is in Toronto at the end of April. Okay. Uh, and there's no, at the end of March, my goodness me, it's, it's, it's two weeks time. Okay. Um, uh, and in April, there's one in Jacksonville in Florida. Uh, in May, I'm in Milan in Italy. So it goes like that. Okay. Um, and this is in a group scenario where I work with people on a one-to-one -one in front of the group. And so okay. everybody says, oh my God, I didn't realize that my brain does that too. Or, oh my God, I'm like that too. So even though it might feel like, I don't want to go up in front of everybody and talk openly, you'll find that we, we actually run the same stories. Okay. And other people share something about themselves. It puts vocabulary on your own experience. It helps you to like, oh, I have that experience and I never realized it. Yes. So there's a huge value in, in having that group scenario to, to help you, whether or not you're somebody who comes up and speaks to me or not. Right. Um, and the third thing I do is called, uh, it's through my website called Going Home Guide. I have another website called Jack O'Keefe mm -hmm. that has the, you know, advertising or the opportunity to, to, to go to wh wherever I am live. And the other one is where I do Skype one-to-one either for half an hour or an hour. And people book a session online through the website, goinghomeguide.com. Okay. And, 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 and I work with them, like mm -hmm. completely focusing on them. And some people do it regularly once a month, but anything more frequent, people can't use all the things that we explore. It's like, okay, now we've found these five things you've got to work on. And right. the person goes away and does the work on them. Because just sitting there and talking about themselves, I'm not interested in that. I'm not. I'm like, you're going to shoot the perception. You've got to get rid of it, that anger. You've got to, you know, these are the things that you're telling me that don't work for you. So here it is. It's back for you again. For right. you to do it because this is what's blocking you from resting inside, from going yes. home. Yes. Yes, yes. So there's the three true. components, you know? Right, right, yeah. right. I like, I like what you just said because it reminds me, I don't know if you're familiar with Byron Katie, but I love, yeah, how, sure. I, I love how she asked the question, who would you be without your story? And it's so true. Go. It is so true what you said it, by sharing your story. That's why I say I'm an open book. There is nothing. Ask me anything. I'll tell you. I'm mm -hmm. an open book because I know that, when I listen to other people like yourself and other people talk, I resonate and I can, I identify with everyone I've, every one of my guests and I've had close to 70 guests, something they have said, I identify with like, okay, I've been through that experience, you know, yeah. and I, yeah. you get that with everyone you talk to with yes. everyone who shares their story, you're going to yes. find something that you identify with, you you went through something similar. Yes. And so that's why I said I'm an open book because by sharing, mm -hmm. it allows others to I, at least identify with what I, I went through. So they, yes. can, they can realize, oh, I'm not so different. Because <laughs> yes. we're not, we're the same, truly we are having, we're the same um, spark of God each of us are, is a spark of God having our own unique experience of life, but we're all the same at our core. So, yes. 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 So, okay. So you said, you mentioned some places that you're going to be. Um, you said at the end of the month, you're going to be. In uh, Toronto. And Toronto. in Peterborough, actually. Peterborough, which is an hour and a half outside of Toronto. And then in Toronto itself for the weekend of, of, the end of March, 1st of April. Okay. And then you're going to be back in um, Florida. Yeah, Jacksonville in the, end of April, in the middle of April. Uh, and all this is on my website, jackokeefe.com. Okay. Yeah. Jack, okay. Yeah. Okay. And if someone wanted to do a more um, private, a Skype session, where would they go? They go yes. to that same website? Yeah. Okay. That's, they can go to the same website and click on the top of the page, of the homepage, you'll see private time with Jack. Okay. Uh, book a private session with Jack, something like that, and click on that. But it'll take you to a website called going www.goinghomeguide.com. Oh, and that's okay. the same. That's, okay. It's an independent website where you just schedule it, and, and it appears on my calendar and their calendar, and that's it. 
Okay. Okay. Very, yeah. Very, yeah, so, very good. So, yeah. So, so I suppose it really depends on where somebody is at because some people want their, their life to be better. You know, it's, and, and that's one way to do it is you just want more skills to make your life better. And then there's those that just know that the external world doesn't do it for them at all. They've right. seen through the external pull, do this and it'll make you happy, become this and it'll make you happy. And it's like, hmm, actually, it doesn't work. Right. And that's a wonderful maturing point. Right. We have to arrive at that ourselves. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of people who are saying, no, 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 I know the outside world doesn't do it. And there's this secret craving for love or for the ideal partner, or for a better job. And it's like, you know, let's get that sorted. Give yourself that. Let yourself have those things that you still believe will make you happy. Yes. And they'll make you happy for a while. Yes. But it doesn't last. That does. Exactly. It doesn't last. Nothing lasts. Everything mm. gives a novelty factor, but nothing lasts. Right. And I love when somebody has recognized that for themselves. Not just in theory, because they heard it's going to happen, but they've recognized in this that it's just not good enough. I can keep buying a new car and going out and trying to find a better partner and better sex and better ABCD. And it's like, and if my kids were different, I'd be happy. And it's like, oh, I'm just running these stories because I'm just not happy myself. Exactly. I'm just not happy with me. That's what's going on. It's like, yes. all right, all right. No, 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 we can do something. Now we're getting you know, somewhere. Yes. We're getting somewhere. Otherwise, we're mm -hmm. just moving the furniture around, really, mm -hmm. making it look different. Oh, so what we find the next phase, you know? Yes. Well, my, one of my favorite sayings is we're just moving the deck chairs around on the Titanic. On the Titanic. That, it's yeah. Going down anyway. Yeah, it's right. going down, and all we're doing is down. moving the deck, deck chairs around. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's still go. It's still going down. Yes. Yeah, it's still going down. It's still going down. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, when people know, okay, it's going down. It's about nothing. It's. Right. It's. I, I've seen through it. Yes. Okay. Now, now we really get to see. All right. What's the garbage that goes on in your head that is influencing your experience of the now? Yes. What is it? What's obscuring your perception? Right. And can we go to that place dropping within where there's just pure perception? And pure perception doesn't run any story at all. It's just seeing. It's not me seeing you or me seeing something. It's just seeing itself as happening. Mm -hmm. And there are no individuals there. That's a beautiful, sweet spot. Yes. Because it isn't me seeing you without judgment. Right. It's just seeing. No commentary. Yes. That the mind has turned down in its volume because you stopped believing it. You stopped believing its bullshit stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. And it's yes. like, okay, just perceiving itself. Nobody's looking at anything. Nobody's perceiving anything. Pure perception is happening. There's pure perceiving. Nothing else. Yes. That's beautiful. Yes, it is. There's no commentary. You mm -hmm. don't need to protect yourself. There's no game going on. There's no me and you without judgment. Me and you without. It's like, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop all of it. Stop all of it. Yes. And that can be scary initially because the mind will tell you, I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. You need me. You need to keep listening to me because I keep you safe. And actually, it's, it's the Titanic, you know? <laughs> it is. The, the mind there is, is bringing you down, 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 down. Yes, you know? yes. it's very true. Um, I think of um, the ego as just, it, uh, as it has its place. Like the mind has its place. Like if you need to add up something to pay a bill, you need yeah. to use your mind to add that, those numbers, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, right. I use a calculator, but it's still yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> but but it has its place it does have its place but its place the mind's place is not to run your life that is not the place the mind um place is to okay oh i have an appointment let me make sure i get there on time for and we know time is an illusion but when you have an appointment you want to be courteous to the other person and can't say, oh, well, time's an illusion. I get here when I can, you know. Get yeah. Here. Yeah. So there, there are times where we have to take aspects of this linear reality. Yeah. And even though, but we know what it is. We don't, yeah. 
we don't attach to it. Yeah. We don't let that mind run the show. Yeah. That is not the mind's yeah. job at all. We have That's to right. put put the mind and let people use ego. We have to put mind and ego in its place, yes. you know, and yes. say, okay, I love you, but you got to stay in your place. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and then follow the heart and the soul because that that's where your higher self being in alignment and you, you you get in alignment with higher self by that stillness yes. that peace within yes and then you know the next step to make yeah. from going first within yes. and then making those steps so and going within there has to be trust i've come yes. across a lot of people cross uh, come across a lot of people who actually don't trust that if they let go of the chattering monologue, the, the, the non-useful part of mind, if they let go of that, that they'll be destroyed in some way, they'll be unsafe in some way. So there is, that's the role of faith. Right. You know, uh, of total trust. It's like, uh -huh. just drop in there. You, there might be nothing happening at all and stay there. Right. You'll know what to do next, but not if you're grasping What's going to replace my chattering monologue in my head? I need spirit to talk to me inside. It's like, no, you need to go in and let it be empty yes. and silent and trust it. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Trust it. Do nothing until you're moved to do something. Exactly. Do nothing. But don't follow the monologue mind that goes yakety yakety yak because it'll always be looking out for itself. It'll always be, you know, trying to keep itself alive by running fear stories you need me stories exactly I'm and protecting I, you no for me what took away the fear mm. is is the knowing of who i am and that that's mm. a and yeah. it's like you said we talked you said earlier experience because we come to the knowing from experience yes. you can't no no one can actually give you that that has yes. to come from within. Yes. And when you know from within who you are, yes. when you know you are a divine aspect of God that can never be separated from God, what is there to fear? Yes. Nothing. There is yes. absolutely nothing to fear. And then you live your life fearlessly yes. and, and you live your life authentically. Yes. Uh, you know, you don't care what anyone thinks or yes. says because you're going to, live your life, your authentic life. Yes. And you're gonna just, with love. And it's and gonna come no from avoid, a place of, yes. Yeah, there's no avoidance of experiences or yes. trying to be nice to somebody because they threaten you or, you know, it's like whatever experience comes because the experience isn't the thing that makes you happy or makes you suffer. Exactly. Somehow you're outside of that. Exactly. And that inner stillness is the source of all for you. And it's a clear seeing. It's not swapping out something for something better. Exactly. It's actually discovering the truth. Exactly. Discovering the truth. And so it doesn't matter really what experience comes towards you. Exactly. Somebody likes you, so somebody doesn't. Well, why would you change what you're doing so that people like you? It's like, it's <laughs> way too much effort. Yeah. To put that much effort into manipulating somebody's opinion. It's like, why would you bother? Right, right. <laughs> oh my God, that's way too dense. <laughs> yes. It's oh. like, how do you feel? How do you feel about you? Not how does another feel about you. It's how if you feel, if you love you, which is true love comes from within you. And you I always say you have to, for so many people I know, ladies <laughs> out there looking for Mr. Right, looking yes. for the love of their life. I'm like, love you, yes, you know, yes. love you first. That yes. is, that is so important. Yes. And, and they're looking for love. Yes. I have to say they're looking for love in all the wrong places yes. because they're looking for love outside of themselves. Oh, wow. so, and yes. then the thing is, is that's a great repellent for a good partner because you end up being needy because you want something outside. And that neediness is the greatest turnoff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody who yes. is solid and and who has already achieved self-love is not going to be attracted to somebody who's needy exactly they're not exactly they're not so already so. you're just going to attract people that won't treat you well that won't right. show you much
of yourself. So you have to start it at home. You've got to do your own work on yourself. Exactly. And love yourself. Totally love yourself. Exactly. Because you're actually going to attract exactly what you're putting all out. So if you're yeah. putting out neediness, you're going to attract yeah. a needy partner. And you well, got yeah. two needy people banging yeah. up. You know, that doesn't usually work no. out very well. No, that's a tough one. That's yeah. a tough one. Yeah. There's no self-sufficiency there. And it's games and from the get-go, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And also there used I used to say this too in my in my younger days. I used to say, um, I'm looking for my better half. You know, and it's like, no, yes. no. Ah. I'm I'm whole. I'm whole. You want two yes. two whole people to come together. That's yes. what makes a beautiful relationship. Yes. Is I'm not a half of right. a person looking for my better half. But you know, yes. we, we used to say that when we were young. I used to say that when I was younger. Yes. Like, yes. Nah, no, I'm yes. whole as I am. That's right. I'm complete. And I want to meet a person because I'm single, been single for a long time, but I'm mm -hmm. happy. I'm the happiest I've ever yes. been. And I haven't yes. been in a, late, a relationship in probably close to 10 years, but right. I, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life because I know who I am. Yes. <laughs> and that's, okay. you know, and so that yes. to me that's better than money in the bank <laughs> completely you can't buy that you, can. you, you can't put your, put you your can. thumb on it yeah yeah so and so many people imagine that they can get that through external stuff and they buy external stuff or do external things you know in the world in order to just make that feeling go away that they're only half of something Right. And all you're doing is camouflaging it. You're not healing it. You're not changing it, transforming it. Exactly. The exactly. freedom that comes when, you, when you're, you're good with yourself, you know? Yes. And when aloneness comes, loneliness comes, you've just forgotten God. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You've forgotten the God center, not God as an external being, as you said earlier, but your God center, the essence of, of that's everything. That's mm. everything. That's what you've forgotten. Something in your mind has shut that out and made you feel the absence of it. But exactly. your mind can only imagine the absence of something external. Exactly. I'm lonely for another person. I'm lonely for company. And it's like, okay, we have a human need to connect with people, but your mind is embellishing it because actually you've left your center. Because inside your center, it doesn't know, it doesn't do loneliness. It doesn't exactly. run that program. Exactly. It's not there. It just it's doesn't run there. that program. Your mind it's... runs that program. Mm hmm So, you know? so true. So, so true. Yeah. So now, what are, Skip, can you share with our listeners some of the, some of the tips that you give in your workshops and in, in your one-on-one -on -one sessions, just a few, few tips that can help. I mean, because I know I love this show because I get to interact with you and, and people that are awake, awake in the dream. I love that. Uh, yeah. But we want, the show is to help inspire others too, that some might be look, listening to this and like, okay, well, how do I get? there so share some tips um, that that our okay. listeners that can help other people's opinions of you are none of your business mm -hmm. stop all self-criticism it does one thing it moves you away from the core the essence of who you really are stop all self-criticism stop all self-doubt Okay. Mm -hmm. If somebody can do the three of those, they're a long way there. Okay. Self-love will start to come into your awareness. Gosh, I don't love myself. I'm really hard on myself. My God, I, I really treat myself badly. So then we start seeing things like this. I remember at a workshop very recently, um there was one woman who just said i just criticize myself all the time and i ended up saying to her um what's going on with your body and she said i hate my body my weight is always flying around the place i just take my body and it's, i ended up saying to her you, you your body isn't yours it's like it's everybody else's it, it's it, it's always been for other people to use take your body back 
take your party back. It's yours. It's yours. Set up a good boundary around it. Claim it as your own. Mm -hmm. Nobody has access to it unless you say yes. And for women, especially, well, anybody who's had any interface with sexual abuse, we have to start there by Mm -hmm. taking the body back and owning your body. Mm -hmm. Because self-love can't happen. You can't open your heart to yourself if somebody else has your body, has ownership over your body. So take it back. And I remember the technique I told that lady is like, you know, if you can stand naked in front of a mirror and say, this is my, my head, my mouth, my neck, work right down, claim your breasts, claim your stomach, claim your genitals, claim your whole body as yours, take it back. Mm -hmm. And from there, from there, okay, you can start to, uh, Feel safer in your body. Feel safer here. And it's not just women. It's just that there's just, I imagine yes. that more women are abused, that sexually abused than men. I just, right. I just have that sense. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's also for men. It's like I have found that men who can't go in, that they don't have the access to that faith or trust in themselves. We're at the level of the body. It's like your body isn't yours, is it? It's like, nope. I have no say when somebody wants something from my body, they automatically can have it. Mm, It's like, okay, okay, this is where we start. And that's a very tender place. And we can't ride over the body. Right. And to claim in the body, you end up loving this delicious, delicious self-healing mechanism that makes all of this possible. It makes physical human experience possible. It makes our perception of the now possible. Yes. It allows us to have experiences, but to go within and to figure out that outside experiences won't do it. Mm-hmm. But until the body is yours and loved totally by you, we can't really put the jigsaw fully together. Mm-hmm. So true. So true. Yeah. It, 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 that, that is so true. It, it all starts with self-love. It truly really does. It does. Um, because that you, it is truly, I say it and it's true. You really can't look, because some people say, well, I love other people, but I can't love myself. Yeah. In truth, that's not a true statement. No, because you, you can't love others if you don't love yourself. You can't. It will be full <laughs> of manipulation. It will yes. be full of, I love you because I need you to love me back. Mm-hmm. That's what will be really running there. So the mm-hmm. motivation will not just be clean without an agenda. It will have an agenda. Right. You know? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. So true. So it all starts exactly with the first step to healing is self-love. Yeah. And it's not a selfish thing because also society will want to try it. Sometimes society and organized religion and church will say, oh, it, don't be selfish. But you have to love yourself. You mm. can't give love to another if you don't mm. love yourself. Yes. It all starts yes. with self-love. So that is so true. Yes. That is step number one for mm-hmm. healing all yes. all illness, all all illness, Everything. physical, yeah. emotional, spiritual. Yeah. All of yeah. it starts right there. Yeah, that is so all of you loving mm-hmm. all of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Loving all of you from head to toe, like Absolutely. you say. Okay. All of yes. us. No yes. criticism. No doubt. Yes, and you're tr- and it's right. It's true what you said. You do find that issue more in women, um, not just because of se- sexual abuse, but women that see these women on the magazine and want to look yes. like, <laughs> yes. like these. That's yeah, right. I don't look like that, so there's something yeah. wrong with me. You That's know? right. That's right. That's so right. it's everywhere, isn't it? The, this yeah. is this is what you need to aim for. It's just marketing. It's just commercialism and. You know, I just hope people watching this have seen through it or can see through it. It's like, don't yeah. believe that. That's, that agenda is about making money. That's how the economy works. It's yes. got nothing to do with happiness. Nothing exactly. at all to do with happiness. It's got to do with commerce. Exactly. And so let your path to happiness not be influenced by that anymore because it can only take you further away from your own essence. True. So you know? true. So true. Mm. And then I think also... Um, the, I, I would say around the second step would be understanding that you're not your body. You have a body, just like we have a car. 
A we beautiful have, body. Yes, a beautiful body. And just like we, if we want our car to get us from point A to point B, we take care of it. Yes. So the same thing, we have a body to get us in this reality from point A to point B. We have to take care of it. It's our vehicle for, for this reality to, to move around in this reality. We have to take care of this vehicle. So, but we are, we are not the totality of the body. We have a body. And, and, and it is a very important aspect of us here and now. So we have to take care of it and love it here and now. So true. Yeah, you yes. can't love yourself and ignore the body, you know? Exactly. It, it has to come in there into the picture and be integrated and included. And then we can go deeper than it. Then yes. we can see that we're not the body. Yes. You yes. know, but, but you've got to love it in order to see that you're not it. Mm -hmm. So true. You know? Yeah. So true. Yes, yes. This is so wonderful. I am yeah. so now I know I know you're a native from Ireland. Yes, I am. <laughs> and we'll be celebrating St. Patrick's Day this yes. Friday when actually this show will air St. St. Patrick's Day at seven PM Eastern. Um and we're both on the East Coast good, good. sometimes. Uh -huh. And we just had the time change in the United States. Anybody listening? United States is now on daylight savings time. I don't think the rest of the United States and Canada are now on daylight saving. I don't think the rest of the world has gotten there yet. <laughs> These times. If Europe is either a week before or a week behind, I can't remember which. It's the, I don't think Europe changes to daylight savings time until the last Sunday of March. So is they're both. Yes. 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 Exactly. So yes. So it's it, these time zones. But we live globally, so I always check Google if I'm if I have a guest that's overseas. Okay, what time yeah. is it there? <laughs> but this is so. Sure. These so, are the logistics. That part of the mind is useful. Yes. It helps yes. you to navigate. Yes. But that's about as good as it gets. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, because I love how you mentioned the the this multi layer or the uh, multi dimensional. We're we're multi dimensional beings. Um, I don't use the word reincarnation anymore because I know that we're living all of our lives here and now. Every every lifetime we've ever lived is happening here and now, and we can actually. But our point of power. Some people feel like, oh, I need to know what happened in a past life or a future life, and like you said, the past and the future, they don't truly exist. Everything's happening here and now. And your point of power is here and now. I mean, so when you are at peace in this now moment, that is rippling through all of those other lives that you are leading. They feel it. They, they yes. feel that, that. So your point of power is now. Yes. It always That's is. Very true. That's very true. It's always in the now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So this is, I, I'm so, so, so excited. Please share the name of your book um, because I didn't even know that. The name, you wrote a book you said a few years ago. One a few years back is Born to be Free. Born to be Free. Yeah. Uh, in a few I different, like that. Seven different languages and stuff. Yeah. Um, and the next few, um, let's see. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Well, see. I will definitely be looking forward to your next book release since you're, I know it's coming up soon. You're working yes. on, on one very, uh -huh. very soon. So that yeah. is a wonderful, wonderful. I am so thankful that you um, agreed to be my guest. I know Ooh, you just my privilege. came back from vacation. And, and thank you that this, like I said, it's perfect. Everything happens in perfect divine timing. Because originally, I was supposed to have you earlier on in the month, but because I of my travel schedule, we had to push it back, but then it fell right on St. Patrick's Day. So yes. it's, it's divine. Do, yes. you have, do you have any big plans for St. Patty's Day? Oh, I'll wear green and okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Cruise about town and have fun. Yes. <laughs> Having fun. Absolutely. Okay. I will definitely be wearing green and having fun. Oh, next. Yeah, do, do. It's fun. oh yes. I actually um there is uh, I have I have Irish descent in my family on my mother's side. 
my mother's grandfather uh, was from Ireland. You're um, kidding. We, oh, say, wow. we say straight off the boat. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's my, yeah, that's my great grandfather. Yeah. So, oh, wow, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I remember when we, were, when we were kids, I forgot about this actually. We were teenagers. We used to buy food coloring, green food coloring. And put it on our hair, you know. They didn't have green spray, hair spray, just car spray. Car spray. So we put that on our old clothes and, and wear them on that day. But, but um, yeah, these there's green food coloring that we used to have, and we used to just buy this or rub it from our, you know, the kitchens at home. Right. And dye our hair green. You see, but the thing is, it always rains in Ireland. Uh -huh. oh. And if you uh -huh. add water to it, your yes. whole face, it drips. <laughs> we would be covered in this sneaking green stuff. You know, I remember doing this for a few pa Patrick's days. Oh, man, we were just like, I don't know what we looked like, but it was great fun. It was great fun. It is. Yes. A bottle of food coloring. It went a long way, you know? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's actually good because I don't think that see food coloring could hurt your hair. See, I would no. be, I would yeah. rather put food coloring in my hair than those spray, those sprays, because I don't know what, what's in those sprays. Uh, for sure, toxic for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds like yeah. so much fun. Yeah, I might do it again. Who knows? Maybe yeah. I'll just put my arms and my face in it or something and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's so, so fun. Slow back. That sounds yeah. so wonderful, so wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so yeah. much. This has been such a pleasure. Yeah, I am it's been fun. I have all oh, every every time I do a show, I'm just I'm I'm on a high for the rest of the day and the rest <laughs> of the week because it's just a, it's it's a wonderful honor. Thank you so much, and we would definitely keep in touch because one of the things um what I want what um. I'm doing new for this year for, with the show is I've had the show now for two years, but this year I'm actually planning my first live event hosting where I'll be um, hosting with former guests and in Canada, actually, Victoria, oh. Canada, and it's going to be towards the end of the year, um, but I'm actually um, putting, just putting it together now, so I can't really publicize dates or anything, sure. but that, that, Spirit said to me, this is what I should be doing, not just the show. Now I have to branch out and sponsor live events with my guests as speakers. So, okay. hey, I'll be in touch and have, you know, when I'm going to be do something. And because what I'm trying to do is actually go to them. Go. So I have three guests that are in Canada. So uh -huh. that's why I'm hosting uh, an event in Canada because I'm, I'm bringing the show to them. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing the event to them. So yes, so I'm, I'm really excited about Great. that. So, <laughs> so we, thank so, you for the work you do, Caroline. Oh, no, oh, thank you for your work. Uh, yeah. It's all, it takes all of us, you know, it takes yes. all of us doing our part because yeah. we, we all have a unique part to play. Yeah. You know, we have yeah. unique roles to play. And so long as we're all walking in our truth, in our authentic truth, yeah. and, and sharing that with the world, that's, that's how we heal the world. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You, you Thank have you. enjoyed the rest of your day. I know you just got back from vacation, so rest. <laughs> <laughs> and have a great weekend for St. Patrick's Day. Great. Thank, thank you, Caroline. Thank th you. Th you. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you too. Thank you bye -bye. so so much. Bye bye.